Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, trading strategies that can help you grow your trading account. And for those of you who are new, I'm Nurse Gringo and I'm a full-time nurse. While nursing is my passion uh, and allows me to help people every day, trading has become part uh, of my uh, uh, income like a part-time income especially in uh, in the future futures market so i don't have ton ton of capital to invest but uh, that's where prof firms come uh, come in right so they gave you the capital to trade once you pass their challenge so originally this video uh, uh originally i want to discuss this live but uh, i don't have that much fandom and no one is no one is watching maybe no no one will watch so i decided to uh post i make a video for uh for this one so that you can you know if you're interest, interested you can come back and watch watch the video and maybe it will it will help you in your trading uh, career so i'm going to dive into a simple yet powerful strategy that i've been using uh, and it's called the moving average crossover with super trend strategy and I call this my uh, I call it the uh, ultimate scalping strategy so this method helps identify high probability trades and if you stick to the rules you can really see consistent result so let's break it down into easy steps so you can follow okay first let's set up the indicators you uh, so you'll need uh, you need an indicator for this strategy and it's really straightforward uh, and that indicator is the simple moving average or the moving average uh, exponential moving average and uh, smooth line and super trend uh, so I will show you how to do this and uh, just to uh, just to inform you that uh, the strategy work best on this time frame or in this session so if you're in Asia market 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. and this is my personal uh, my favorite personal uh, yeah I uh, and then London opening 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. New York which is 9 30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, New York AM and New York PM 11 30 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, I'm talking about uh, standard Eastern time so New York time uh, so if you are on the other part of the world or if you're in Asia or London so just set uh, set your uh, set your time uh, here if you're using trading view so set it on New York time frame okay so that's it stick to this time frame uh, this time frames for your best chances okay okay now uh, let's go to the indicator uh, I'll try to make this video fast and I will give you some example so that's why we're here uh, I'll show you how to uh, execute this strategy and you will have maybe if you master this it's super easy it's 90% win rate okay uh, nothing nothing fancy about this you don't uh, trading doesn't need to be hard uh, may, okay so if you if you have a strategy like this that you don't need to use your brain too much or you don't need you don't you you will you don't you're you will not get emotional so why not right so okay let's go so I have will have moving average simple or the simple moving average and then uh, exponential moving average and super trend and then okay, I did not add that super trend super trend okay you can search that and then you will you will, uh, I think it's available on all of the uh, charts and platform charts uh, it's a generic uh, indicators it should be available okay now uh, on the simple moving average you your input should be the length is nine that's a length and the source is close and uh, you need to add a smooth moving average for that the smoothing and the smoothing should uh, length length is 10 and time frame uh, is according to the chart so set that according to the chart then you can you can modify your color uh, according to your preferences so mine uh, blue and uh, red thickness is one both of them 
all right and then the exponential moving average uh, you need the length of 21 source is close method uh, we don't need the smoothing line and then the time frame is just just the chart and then uh, you can modify with your this one minus green uh, second thickness all right and then the last uh, indicator is the super trend so your input uh, average true rate uh, true range length should be 14 and factor is 3 time frame is uh, according to the chart and the style is according to your preferences all right now that we have this uh, we so we set now that we set that uh, we set up the indicators so you'll need for uh, that we'll need for this strategy uh, we're going to uh, let's talk about the uh, trade entry okay so this strategy revolves around two main confirmation and that is the moving average uh, averages and the super trend so it revolves between these two uh, this moving averages and the super trend and here's what to do okay uh, if you can see I put the I'll, ma I'll make this larger so that you can see okay so we have like five steps here that you need to follow and this is uh, it could be yeah we can apply I think we can uh, consider this as a rules in order to perfectly execute this strategy so number one uh, step number one so uh, this is how we uh, this is how this I think this is our signal first signal so if the moving average 9 crosses above uh, the exponential moving average 21 you are looking for a buy and if it crosses below you you're looking for a sell like for example in this chart it you know the the blue line that's the moving average 9 crosses the green line which is the exponential moving average so we're looking to we're looking to buy and uh, here it crosses so from this point or from this time we're looking to sell that that's how so that's the first signal and then uh, step number two uh, is we need the super trend uh, support our bias so for a buy super super trend should indicate an uptrend it's like this okay so we're going we're bu we're buying so the super trend should be uptrend and then for the sell the super trend should be downtrend like this okay that's the second uh, confirmation trade confirmation or steps and then number th three is uh, we need to look for market imbalance and that market imbalance should create uh, inefficiency candle plus market shift so they call it uh, fair value gap market imbalance and inefficiency candle so I will show you uh, where in this candle so here we do have this one here is inefficiency candle. We'll use this one, like for uh, example of inefficiency candle or pair, uh, that create fair value gap and market shift is this one. This candle here, this candle here, this group of candle. It could be group uh, only one candle or a group of candles. So this group of candle here is an imbalance candle, candle or inefficiency candle. And then we have we have a fair value gap this so a fair value gap is a group of uh, fair value gap is created by a three candle one two three and this is the fair value gap here from that week to this weak point okay this is a fair value gap and then uh, we have a market shift here right so this is an efficiency candle this group of candle here it's an imbalance candle or inefficiency candle okay that's an example so that's uh, number three and then number four is our entry so the op the optimal uh, the optimum uh, optimal entry is 50% uh, of fair value gap like for example this one here uh, okay well I'll give you an example yeah I'll give you this one like for example this one here 
uh, yeah, this is a parabolic gap. So the, uh, the entry, optimum, uh, optimum entry for that is this 50% of this candle. So in the middle of this uh, fair value gap or imbalance candle or the gap, whatever you want to call it. So that's your entry. Your entry sh should be there. Okay, that's the optimum. But it depends on you, depends on your risk. Uh, if you, uh, you can have an entry here or here. It depends on you. It depends on your risk. So if you have an entry, for, like for example, you're afraid that you, the, uh, the market will left you. So you put your entry there so that uh, to make sure that it will be mitigated. So you're risking, and the stop loss should be, uh, stop loss should should uh, you should put your stop loss as a standard is on the first candle that created the fair value gap. So stop loss should be here, should be here. So if you put your uh, entry there, you're risking more than if you put it here, right? Uh, so it, it depends on, but the uh, me personally, my tolerance is 40 ticks away, which should be uh, maybe if you were uh, on mini, on Nasdaq, maybe around 450 to 500 dollar. Uh, yep. So in this example, I'm using uh, uh, Nasdaq 100 because of uh, the volatility, and uh, I, I trade most of the. I use Nasdaq to trade most of the time, but this. A uh, strategy can can be applied to any of the uh, major pairs on Forex, like Euro USD. I love to use this uh, using a USD JPY, uh, gold, crude oil, uh, ES 500. So it's up to you. Uh, you can use this and you can backtest this after you learn it. Okay. Now we're here. The step number five is the exit or trade invalidation so uh, you uh, this strategy will give you a signal to minimize minimize your loss minimize your loss and uh, uh, yeah to minimize your loss and risk so exit the trade no matter what or if moving average crosses uh, smooth moving average then that's the early exit as possible that you can in this strategy or uh, you can uh, exit your trade once the moving average nine crosses the uh, EM821, which kind of give you a reversal signal. So if you want to, uh, you can choose, or you can just end your trade once you have the standard risk, risk to reward ratio, which is 1.2 and one is to two, right? So it depends on you. So me, if I, if I, if I if I feel that the market is uh, continues to trending, I will wait uh, for the moving average nine crosses the EM821 before I exit uh, my my uh, trade. So you have you have a chance to catch a big move if you are uh, following this, or if you are like you just want to uh, hit and then run, and then one is to two is fantastic. You c okay, one is to two. So this is this is the steps of this this uh, strategy. Okay, let me see. Put it here. Okay. Okay. Uh, now uh, I'm going to show you how to apply. So maybe I will give you a. I don't want this video to uh, to be long, so I will, I'll give you like three example and then. Uh, you can rewatch the video and then do it, you know, uh, test it by yourself. And uh, recently, I'm doing uh, a live on my live trading, and I'm showing, uh, you know, I'm using this strategy. So I'm doing a live like twice or three times a week, uh, a live execution, live trading. I'm sharing this to those who having a hard time passing their funded account or been there like you know using a difficult strategy uh, you don't need it you don't need fancy or uh, complicated strategy you just need a simple and yet uh, profitable strategy and this is the moving average which is available it's been there since lo uh, for a long time so just waiting for you to discover it okay and this one I'm sharing to you for free I don't need the 
I don't need any any of your money. Uh, maybe you, you can like and subscribe on my uh, YouTube. And if you uh, if you happen to be become a millionaire, you can send me a gift, right? A token of appreciation because I show you this uh, trading strategy that's really easy to use. All right. So let's let's go. I'll remove all of this. Anyway, all of this uh, I'll put uh, it's on it's on the description, so you don't need to. I'll, I'll remove the drawings. All right. So as you can see, I'm on a one minute time frame, and this is a replay market of last week. So we will start uh, with um, market here in uh, in USA started Sunday uh, Sunday 1800, which is 6 p.m. Market opens at 6 p.m. New York time. And I think uh, that's morning on Southeast Asia or on the on Asia. I don't know what time, but it's maybe around 7 a.m. or uh, 8 a.m. Uh, but uh, Asia time will open at 8 p.m. in New York time. And maybe I think 8 a.m. also in uh, if you are in Singapore, Philippines, Japan. I don't know um, around that time. So. And this is strategy. You can see I, I go directly to the one-minute time frame. I don't care what what will ha what is going on on the trend. If we are uptrend or downtrend on 15 minutes and five minutes, uh, I'm I will go directly look at the one minute and see what's going on. Uh, we don't need uh, to do a top-down analysis because we are purely scalping the market. That's that's this. Uh, yeah, we want our trade to go to have we want to have a profit as quickly as possible so if we can trade within 20 minutes and 30 minutes and uh, we reach our profit and then that's it we can leave the market and uh, have another trade for another day right okay now let's go to the first example which is sunday our uh, market kickoff in new york and uh, i have those rules uh that I, I wrote there a while ago that I won't be trading unless uh, past 8 p 8 p.m. So that's my rule and it's up to you. But uh, most of my experience uh, setup always happens after 8 p.m. Sometimes there are setups between 7 a 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. But uh, not that high probable uh, pr probable rate. Okay, so we'll use what I used to. So past 8 p.m. we're going to start hunting for the trade. Right. So maybe, uh, yeah, uh, I know that this is a replay trading. Uh, I already know what will happen, and I trade the same. Uh, I I traded this uh, time, uh, this days already, but I just want to show you, and then uh, you can apply it. But uh, if you want to, you can back test it by yourself. Okay. But I know uh, I already know what where where is the market will go. So it's no challenge for me, but. I'm telling you, I uh, I traded this uh, a session already, and have the same result as what I'm showing to you. Uh, all right, so we're waiting for the market to open. This is what we'll do in a real time, and then we're waiting for the signal, right? So our first signal is once the I'll zoom it in. Our first signal is once. Once the blue line cross the green line, this is the moving average nine. And once that moving average nine uh, crosses the exponential moving average 21, that's our number one signal, right? We're waiting, we're waiting. It's been 8.20 now. Okay. Waiting for the signal. All right, now we have the first cross, and it happens at around 2024. 20, so we have the cross. That's the cross there, All right? So the blue line crossed the green line. So that's give us a signal that okay, uh, it's un, it's below the uh, exponential moving average 21. So we're looking to sell. But the super trend is still supporting the, the uh, long or the buy. So we will not enter the trade. So we have the number one. Can the, we, are, we, are, we have the number one. I'll put, I'll put a number. Number one fulfilled, okay, which is the cross of uh, 
moving average 9 to uh, exponential moving average 21. Now we're looking for the super trend to support our bias, which is uh, short or buy, right there. Okay, now we have the super trend. Super trend, that's number two. Super trend now shifted to support the uh, short. And uh, we not only that, we confirm that we all we also have a displacement. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, this a group of displacement candle. This one here, from here, I should say from here to to here uh, to this candle here is a displacement candle. This is a displa displacement candles. Okay, uh, put that red. These are displaced displacement candles because uh, our criteria for displacement candle it should create what number one a market shift so we ha we do have a market shift here okay which is we break this those here so we have market shift and not only that we have a fair value gap so where is that fair value gap this fair value gap is beautiful because there is like a volume imbalance. Uh, you don't need to learn that uh, things, but this is the only thing you need to learn for this strategy is the displacement, uh, fair value gap, okay? And the indicators that I've shown you. So what we're looking now is uh, we already for fulfill number one, number two, and the number three, right? Which is the displacement, number three. We already fulfill that. Okay. Number three. One, two, three, and at uh, not uh, one, two, three, and we have the fair value gap. Now number four is our entry. So where should we enter? The optimum. We will use the optimum entry. You have you have an option to put your entry here because this is a small fair value gap. Uh, most of the time I'm, I'm putting my entry here but for the sake of you know education we'll put on the 50 percent so 50 percent is here but if I for me my if I have this small fair value gap I'll put it there and then your stop uh, stop loss should be on the on this first candle that created the fair value gap and since uh, since this is only like tick 6.5 maybe it's only about if you're using we're using mini I think a hundred hundred fifty dollar you can risk more depends on your tolerance so me I, I will, I'm allowing a room to risk so I think I'll put it 12 we'll see how much it is that and then we are targeting one is to two right so one is to two here that's our target that's our target we're targeting that right so let's see let's play this uh, trade so we use one position it's mitigated already if I would put it there okay so now we are on the trade okay we hit our 50% uh, we are on the trade trade put your stop loss so if you put your stop loss here you're risking only 135 so let allow let's allow ourselves to you know at least 255 depends on you but I'll put it there just to make sure that we will not hit our uh, our stop loss now uh, we're going to uh, target one is to two and then we'll Okay, we'll go. So remember, I'll post it. Remember that that step number five is our exit exit uh, criteria. So you want to exit the trade once uh, either you hit your one is to two reward ratio, or once this blue line will cross the re uh, red line, or uh, if you want to stretch stretch it, maybe uh, you're hoping that the price will continue to the direction you want you exit once the blue line will cross the uh, green line uh, because once that happened it's another signal for a reversal so we don't want to keep the trade right we don't want to keep the trade because maybe 
we're looking to buy again enter the market or we're looking to scalp a buy because we have a, uh, the condition number one is fulfilled once this uh, blue line crossed the green line right uh, I don't know if you are following I hope you are oh sorry I'm removing the number let's move the number it that way all right so let's see where's this trade we'll go so if you are if you are confident enough to for the, this trade once that hit like that retest of that fair value gap you can add you can add one more but uh, it's up to you I'm not that risky trader so I don't add on my risk I'm not uh, on my you know on my trade Right, let's see okay so we hit we hit our we hit we hit our uh, our one is to two so now we have maybe 500 or how much 500 exactly 500 okay but uh, you're not contented with the fund. that's why I intentionally not put the take profit because I want to sh I want to show you uh, so uh, your are for example you're expecting that the price will go down further and then you're hoping that at least you will have tonight we will have 2000 like per se or maybe you said you want to have a 2500 you are hopeful that the price will go down here more so uh, this is a, this is maybe will not be mitigated in, in like it's far so if you put your uh, target like more than more than uh, three, uh, uh, your take profit more than three, you need to you need to observe for the you know uh, stay and uh, wait and observe the market so that you can use the exit criteria that uh, I show you. Uh, all right, so we're doing that. Let's just play. So we're not exit. We don't want to exit the market yet. I'll make it fast. Okay. The blue line is still far from red and green. So we're going. We're going. We have thousand already. Okay. By this time, you decide if you feel like the uh, trade will go down still because the moving average line already crossed this smooth moving average 10 which is as one of my signs that to exit will exit the entry so let's, let's see so you decided that you will not exit the entry and will not exit the trade so you keep going now it's almost it's not yet you know almost the blue the green but it's not yet so price continues price continues price con still continuing okay all right don't want to exit the entry yet we're hoping that we hit 2000 tonight okay now uh, look at this look at this moving average observe okay by this time I will be afraid to continue the trade by this time because uh, not only the blue line crossed this smooth moving uh, average a smooth, uh, smooth yeah the smooth moving uh, SMA 10 but we have a shift in a super trend which shows me that this for a group of candles here is a new uh, it's a displacement so a displacement happened before uh, the blue line crossed the green line but uh, by this time I'll be exiting my trade but uh, we will not do it for the sake of education okay now look at this this is a signal for a scalp to buy and you, uh, if this happened because we already we fulfill we fulfill all the criteria to enter the trade for the buy we cross 
we cross the uh, the moving average cross the exponential moving average we do have a shift of super super trend and we have we have a displacement this group of displaced candles and we do have a fair value gap which is a bullish fair value gap right so uh, at this time no matter what happened I'll be ending my trade okay exit the trade you don't need to be greedy you already have 1600 you don't need you don't need 2500 right so we'll exit 